You're such an asshole! Ow, got situated here. How are you kids doing? The old captain back from climbing Black Mountain, which is a nice little, well, not little, but it's not lengthy either. Good hike that any young man or in shape young man or woman can do. Uh, who wrote this? Somebody wrote this. And guys, um, I don't know what the fuck happened, but you are all writing books. You're all, all writing books. I charge by the hour. I, I can read your emails, but you, as long as I paid $100 an hour. And you don't need that long to write them, unless it's very complicated, but I haven't. It, it should not be more than a page. Shouldn't be more than a page, and I'm getting books. Uh, John writes, Well, you cunt, you finally did it. You got my cheaper than dirt ass to finally request the video. I've been watching you since 2013, 2014. There's multiple questions to my request. I've anonymized this as much as I can, but feel free to anonymize it for you. Just wants the first one answered. So the short version. My car is dying. What new car should I buy? All right. You can look up uh, Rebatch of Pad Economics. There's an entire chapter on cars because uh, they are the third most expensive thing you'll buy. Can be the second behind your house. Um, but the what new car should you buy? Dude, I've, I've had luck with Kia Rios. I've had luck with Chevy Aveos. Um, you go out and you go to autotrader.com or you go to carsoup.com. I never had a lot of luck with carsoup. And you set your range for 500 miles. If not the entire nation, right? Depends on whether you got the money to fly out to go take a look at a car at the time, but usually a day trip, you can leave in the morning, get out to a place 500 miles away, take that car, take it to a mechanic, have a mechanic look at it, and you'll know whether or not you got a good car. And if you Take her with the <clears throat> mileage and the age of the car. Um, you'll be able to find a car for $5,000 or less. Uh, last car I got, my Kia Rio, I paid $3,500 for it. Now it was salvage, salvage tighter, but I love salvage cars. They create $3,500, $35,000 miles. And I put proceeded to put like 145,000 miles on that thing. And uh, that lasted, gosh, near five, six years. Um, I found another exact replacement to that Kia Rio in Connecticut. I think it was five thousand dollars and only had twenty thousand miles. Um, but I didn't. I just didn't feel like flying out to Connecticut and driving that thing all the way back. Um, it just doesn't worth my time. Uh, but if if you uh, if you got time on your hands and you're younger, you're not making that much money. Okay, you got time. So use that to your advantage. Spend the time saving yourself thousands of dollars. I save, four, and it takes me about four hours to find a car online if I got it. Now that's four hours and that saves me, gosh, that saves me a lot of money. You average idiots, you'll, you'll go, what's that? Oh, that's not that. Um, it saves me $10,000. I'm making $2,500 an hour because I'm willing to go and research the entire country and find a car. Now, of course, there's time going to get it, so maybe it's not $2,500, but it's certainly in the hundreds, multiple hundreds of dollars per hour where I'm willing to drive to get a car, have it looked at, drop 200 bucks on a mechanic, <clears throat> contact the dealer, whoever, say first, I'd like to have a mechanic take a look at it. Sometimes you don't have to drive out there. You can buy it sight unseen saying, can you drive it to this mechanic? You call this mechanic say, can you look at that car and tell me what you think? Uh, and then you drive out there, here's your cash. Now, I found for 5,000 bucks, I'm telling you, you can get low mile cars, like with less than 30,000 miles on them. May only be two or three in the country at this moment in time, but they're out there. But if you're willing to to have a vehicle that has fifty thousand, oh, you could you could find a car with fifty thousand miles on it for less than uh, uh, like four thousand dollars, I bet. So that's the new car you should buy. No, you're not going to buy a fancy car. You're going to buy a car that is safe, has heat, air conditioning, and gets you from point A to B, point B. I hate my job. I can't get myself to apply to new jobs. How to fix this? Apply for new jobs. I don't fix laziness. You fix that. Are you fucking joking me? How do you fix this? Go apply for jobs. Okay? As I said, how do you quit drinking? Stop drinking. How do you stop doing drugs? Stop doing drugs. All right? Those are addictive things that, that are happy. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's a nice feeling. All right? Uh, being poor should, should prompt you. It's not a happy feeling. It should prompt you to go out and apply for how do you find new how do I get myself to apply for new jobs? How to fix this? Go apply for a new job. Every day for at least an hour, you're applying for jobs. <clears throat> Assuming there are jobs to apply for. 
I don't do anything in life and have no hobbies. How to fix this? Go out and get some. This is not rocket scientists. They're rocket science. Find out, I think I might like this. And 90% of finding new hobbies is experimenting. You don't know what you're going to like. I got, I got into rockets recently. I bought a rocket. Uh, I'm going to launch that later this summer. Um, but yeah, I took a class on lapidary. I took a, you know, took a class on motorcycle safety, although I knew a lot of riding motorcycles. Um, go forth, get your ass out of the fucking house. Find out if there's a cooking class. Go to your community education brochure. Take some ballroom dancing. You see, I, I, I get bored because I've, I've done everything that was of interest to me. And now I'm kind of like, oh, I don't want to do a cooking class. No, I don't want to do yoga. No, I don't want to go to the, you know, women single fabulous in 40 group. Because, well, I can't go to that group anyway. Because I'm not female, not single, not, fa not fabulous, and not 40. I'm 43. Um, so yeah, go out and do that. Four, I was raised differently than most. My father was a farm boy who was very self-sufficient and conservative. He did 20 in the military. I moved many times because of this. I was extremely disciplined to the point where I almost didn't have personality or desires and hobbies. I'm one of eight children. Jesus fucking Christ. I was homeschooled until high school and I have been working since I was six. All right, these, there's some pros and cons here. Obviously, you have not been exposed to the real world. I usually cut off all ties with friends when I move, not intentionally. Yeah, you don't have a chance. And don't know any of my relatives. My only objectives in life are getting enough money to save for retirement and starting a business. Preferably, I'd like to start an engineering business, too much to my dismay. Uh, overall, I seem to be a shit sad individual. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, you are. I'll just be honest with you, you are. Um, you're asking me quite. Look. Just because you were homeschooled and maybe uh, inoculated from the rest of the world or shielded from the rest of the world, what do you mean, how do you, how do you get hobbies? Don't you have the internet? You emailed me. You know, how, how do I, you know, uh, I can't get myself to apply for jobs. Then fuck you. Um, and I understand being an army brat, you're shipped all over the place, and maybe you, you, you might be not that good at forming friends or being social, but God, dude, you got to go out and be social. This is one of the most painful questions I always get. I don't have any friends. I mean, like, I can understand if you're afraid to ask out a girl. I have a hard time meeting girls. I'm kind, of, kind of afraid to go up and ask them out. Yeah, every guy is. Now go up and ask them out. But guy, making guy friends? Go join a sports league. Go play some volleyball. Go, uh, go on some internet meetups. Uh, you, you must know people on the internet that, that maybe live locally. How do you not have any male friends? Go out and do shit. Men will be there. And inevitably, it's like, hey, you want to join this bowling league? Yeah, let's go bowling. That's it. Get out. Don't, don't, don't do this. Oh, what are the instructions? I need an instruction manual. The inst all the instructions are to get into social life is to get the fuck out of the house. What you do is go out and play. That's, that's really what it is. Go out and play. That's how you get a social life. You leave the house. Well, what, what do I do after that? I don't know and I don't care. That's up to you. That's why it's social. It's not work. If you want me to tell you where to go and what to do, I got some work that you could do for me for free. There's cars that need fixing. There are houses that need repair. There's um, motorcycles that need oil changes. It, you know, yeah, you could, you could be my personal slave. But what is social is what you think you like to do, find out where it's going on, and do it. And you may find, oh, I didn't really like uh, tango dancing, but I, I heard uh, uh, bachata is much better, which it isn't. It's the worst dance I ever do. Oh, the bachata. Oh, cool. It's the dance that all the girls go, Aah! and you're like, no, no, I'm not going to move my hips that way. I can, but not for you, not for this fucking shitty music. All right, that's it. Leave the house. That's all. All right, we'll see you guys later. Toodles.